Hello guys, so this is another episode of Dry Fire Analyzation. So this time we're gonna analyze the reloads. So I'm gonna show to you the correct reloads and one of the common uh, incorrect reloads that I'm seeing. So if it's incorrect or it's their technique, but for me, it's it's my style. So anyway, let's, let's start. So as you can see in the video, I cannot say anything bad about it because that's one of my smoothest. So I stick it a little in my body, I angle it in my bag pouch and do the reload. It is uh, a little perfect for me. So next, let's do some inefficient reloads. There, as you can see, um, I try to look at the mag well before inserting the magazine. So that is not very efficient. A lot of people or a lot of um, instructors teach that. Yes, you can do that. But I guess you don't need to put that much of an effort when you're reloading. So for me, just pointing the mag well at the mag pouch and then doing the reload that's more efficient and faster versus you're looking at the manual. That's how we store energy in motion. So let's do another reload. So that reload, oh uh, yes, I do not bend my arm, I just bend my wrist and insert the mag. Yes, um, that reload is fine. You can do it fast because less motion. But the problem with that reload is, uh, first, it's a ve very far to your mag pouch. So there's a lot of room for errors when you're doing the reload. Especially um, when you're moving, if there is walls. Um, if you have bigger mag wall, you have a higher chance doing that. But if you're happy, if you don't have mangle, that reloads very difficult and very inconsistent. So for me, I cannot advise doing those reloads. It's very um, inconsistent. So let's do another reload again. There, as you can see, the reload. Um, I focus too much at the reloading. It's almost the same as the uh, second reload. I I focus too much, which is um I don't need it. I just need to look at it and then look at the target after reload. So let's have a last one. At that reload, I flip the gun. Usually, people do that if the magazine is not falling freely. Um, you don't need to do that motion. If your gun has that problem, maybe you can do the flip. But if your magazine is falling freely, you don't need to do the flip. And besides, if you have those problems, you need to fix your gun because it's not um, time efficient. So that's it guys, uh, I hope you learned something from this series and don't forget to video yourself when you're doing a dry fire, you're, you will improve a lot. Mm -hmm. Good, guys.